A nice way to render your character is using a tone shader. This is the final result, let's quickly see how to set it. We start with the default material, in this case the face is separate from the body, so we select the face geometry and we go on tune, and here you have some options of different tunes. Let's click on this one, two tone. Then here in the material attribute, uh, we go in the color tab and you see that we have two colors, one lighter, one darker. We click on the second circle and then on the selected color and we choose the color we want. And then we click on the first circle and again on the selected color and we use the same color we used before but a bit darker. Uh, okay, we have the tone skin. Now I just get to reduce the shadows effects on the face. So I move the lighter color more close to the darker one. Let's go to do the air, we select the mesh and we do what we have done before, so we click on the tune and we go to change the two colors. For the airbrush you can assign the same material tune of the air, or for me this is too light, so I create a new material just for the airbrush, I just use the surface shader, I don't need another tune. And I start from the same color of the air, but I make it a bit darker. Now we can assign the skin tune on the body, we open the eyebrow sheet and we select the face geometry and we click on this icon so that we have the material used for the selected geometry, this one. Then we select the body and we go on the tune in the upper shade and keep press the right click and you can see some options. Choose assign material to selection. So now we have to go to create a sort of suite for the character. Uh, with the right click and the geometry we choose to select the faces and then we go to select all the faces of the body that we want to use as a cloth. Then we create a new tune and we change the color. That is all. Easy and quick, but keep in mind that a tune shader makes your character pretty flat. You could lose a bit of expressiveness, so uh, when you decide to use a tune render, be sure that this type of render is appropriate for your shot.